I've got a monitor here connected to three different devices. We've got the ActionTech Wide-Eye Miracast receiver. If I just flip that up here, we've also got... This should be an Amazon Fire TV stick. That's in uh, standby mode, I think, right now, showing pictures. And we've also got a Google Chromecast connected to this device as well. And what I want to do is I want to test Windows 10 uh, dial protocol with these three devices. So this is the ThinkPad uh, 8 updated to Windows 10. I'm just going to start an app called Tweet, sorry, TubeCast. TubeCast is one of the, um, the early apps to support the dial protocol. It's actually a pretty good app in its own right. So you can log, log into your own YouTube account and play your own videos. And we'll play a video here now from the internet. But what I want to do is just cast that using the dial protocol and we'll, t we'll cast it to the Fire TV stick which is on the TV here. Now the Fire TV stick is using the CEC protocol, it should actually start up on its own. If it doesn't, hmm, then I'll just grab the remote control and I'll switch. We're going to switch sources. We're going to switch to the Fire TV stick, which is on HDMI 1, and uh, see if that switch should start the YouTube app. Online there we go. So what I did is I sent a message to the Amazon Fire TV stack via the dial protocol, which is now supported in Windows 10, to start up the Windows, sorry, to start up YouTube application and to start up this video. We can also call the Chromecast up as well. That one supports CEC pretty well. It's actually switching the TV to its own uh, HDMI port as well. Yeah. Trial version expired on this software but luckily enough the app just started on Chromecast in the background there. So that just shows you that um, what you can do with the TubeCast app is use the dial protocol to switch between local and remote streaming devices. This is not Miracast, this is not um, screencasting. This is true remote application startup, as you as you might know already on Chromecast. So it's a new thing for Windows 10, and that's just a demonstration of how it might work with one of the early apps, TubeCast, on Windows 10 App Store. Thanks for watching.